Hello, Scorpios. This is just uh, quick love messages. Just whatever the cards want to say. I just dyed my hair, so that's why my hands are like that. Bear with me. I'll still be doing my regular Zodiac videos to you on the first of the month, so check back for that. I communicate with you through songs or movies, so be on the link out, look out for uh, synchronicities through songs, through movies, through TV shows. I don't know why I said link out, so there might be like a... It's like a telepathic link I'm getting, like where you guys are sending each other messages through songs, through movies. Some of you might actually be intentionally doing this. Like you might be posting certain songs or certain movies to like send them a message I'm getting. I'm aware that you're my twin flame or my soulmate. You're the one. I want to cuddle with you. I looked for love in all the wrong places. I'm afraid that you've moved on by now. This is a very deep spiritual connection is what I'm feeling here. I can't tell if you're interested. I'm bad at picking up hints. You're so different than anyone I've ever met. You've helped me become a better person. I love you. I feel like this is like the one that got away kind of energy where I don't feel like you necessarily, I mean, some of you might've had a falling out, but for more than anything, I just feel like this just kind of, it might've just sort of faded away. This might've been a friend where you guys never expressed emotions to each other, or it's like you waited for them to pursue you um, and vice versa. And then nothing ever got done. And maybe eventually you both met other people. This feels like um, there's that new movie that's out. What is that? With, with a, uh, Ashton Kutcher, Ashton Kutcher and uh, it's called Your Place or Mine. I don't know if that's that's like a message for anybody, but I'm getting like that kind of energy where it's like there wasn't like a falling out necessarily, but it's like like a friendship or like a coworker or someone that you guys just or maybe there was potential there, but you just know someone you guys just never expressed the emotions like it never got off the ground. Like it's not a bad energy, but it just feels like you guys kind of faded away from each other. For some gossip and rumors might have played a role in, in the situation, in the separation here. I'm waiting for you to give me a clear opening. I don't know how you feel. I want clarity and certainty before I reach out. Part of me wants to just come knock on your door or intentionally bump into you somewhere where I know you'd be. This sort of feels like I'm also seeing the family man, that movie with Nicolas Cage. I'm seeing like a visual of that too. This, this feels like a missed opportunity, but now I feel like someone's rethinking it and they're like, well, is it a missed opportunity? Like, could I go back to this? Could this, could this work? I mean, part of them is waiting for you to give them that opening because they're not sure if they, they, it's like they want that clarity, but then sometimes they just want to just say, screw everything and just, you know, come knock on your door and just, you know, just make it happen themselves. They go back and forth between waiting for you to reach out and wanting to reach out themselves. You have multiple potential partners. Your energy is magnetic. I regret letting you go. I never should have left. My life is busy and chaotic. I feel numb. I'm running on autopilot. I was afraid of how quickly I was falling in love with you, so I ran away. I've been spying on you. I observe and, no and notice every little thing about you. I read your social media posts. So yeah, this just feels like something. I just get that energy of like something that just never got off the ground. Like the feelings were there. They were mutual. There was interest. But I just feel like this person, maybe maybe you guys were in a situation where they, like if it was like a coworker or a manager or someone in your, someone that you live near or even like a roommate situation or something or a friend. It might have been a situation where it's like they just didn't know how to express the feeling. And then it's like that opportunity, that, that doorway just kind of closed. And now they're jealous and they're scared. You're just going to end up with somebody else. You know, it's like life kind of took you guys in separate directions. And now they're coming back and they're like, wait a minute. Like, I shouldn't have let this go. Like, they're, they're kind of rethinking things a little bit. I have commitment issues. I've gotten used to being alone. I'm afraid you'll never forgive me. I look at your pictures often. 
You came on strong and I wasn't ready for it. For some, this might have been a friendship where they didn't realize what was there until later. So you might have reached out or pursued them and they weren't in a position, like they didn't want it at the time or they felt like they, like they had too much going on and now they regret rejecting you. I will always find you. I will always come back for you. This could be a twin flame for some. Because it's like you guys keep coming back to each other no matter how far apart you guys go. You come off uninterested and, and detached. I'm thinking about what you said. You're so empathetic and kind and thoughtful. It's inspiring me to open up to you. I'm being watched. I want to reach out, but there's people around me. I'm afraid of getting hurt, but I'm willing to take a leap of faith for you. My feelings for you are stronger than I let on. Yeah, I just get the sense of like this this in this reading is kind of just like the one that got away. This person is this might be someone that you haven't even talked to in a really long time. And they're just looking at things and they're like, wow, this person was like my best friend. This person was everything to me. Like, how did I let this go? Like, how did we let life get in the way? Why did why did we let life get in the way? Why did we let people or situations separate us? Like, I want to go back. I want to fix this. I want to see if we can rebuild things. There's a little bit of a fear because so much time has gone by for some of you where they feel like maybe it's going to be awkward or, that, you know, they don't know how to start up a conversation because they haven't talked to you in a while. Some of them don't know how to find you. There's actually some of them that don't know, like, if you moved, if you, if you changed addresses or changed phone numbers or changed, like, living, like, something like that. Like, they don't know. Maybe you have like a new social media account. Some of them, it's, it's like they want to reach out, but they're not actually sure how to get a hold of you and find you. And they, they, they want to see if there is potential there, if there is, you know, if, if you guys could pick up and, and where you guys left off and if it would be the same. That's something that's going through their head a lot. Like, would it, would it be the same? Would it be, would we be close like that again? Or have we changed too much over time? Um, but I feel like some of them are looking for you. So if you know who this is, I would suggest, you know, ma making yourself, I mean, if you want this, that is of course, but, but some of them can't find you. So I would suggest, you know, if, if you know who this might be, I would, I would try to make, um, you know, make your, make your presence known if you, yeah. Anyway, I hope this makes sense. And, um, uh, if it resonates and you want a reading, just email me dragonenchantress at aol.com. That reading is, or that email is right below in the description box. Thank you guys for watching.